friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to All About Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today we're going to be talking about these six beautiful uh, lighter kind of more softer pinks from Zoya. If you haven't watched the beginning of this series I will link it up above. In that I showed you all the pinks from Zoya and kind of sorted them into groups. This is actually two groups from that video. I had these three in one group and these three in another group and just decided that it's probably more helpful to include them all in one video for you. So this is going to be a little bit longer than some other videos that I do but I feel like it'll be more helpful than two separate groups. So if you haven't watched one of my comparison videos before we are going to look at each one of these polishes in individually. I'll show you a swatch, we'll talk about where it came from, when it was released, um, and then I will show you all six of them compared against each other. And if there are any that are super close, uh, I will live swatch them right next to each other so you can see how they compare kind of on the nail and not just in the bottle and on swatch sticks. And if you're new to my channel, I do series of color comparisons. This is part of my pink series. And so I hope that if you're new here, you'll consider subscribing so you don't miss the rest of this series. All right, so first up we have Dot, and Dot was released in the spring of 2014. Zoya used to do some special releases for some fashion designers and so this was a special release for one of those fashion designers in the spring of 2014. And Zoya describes Dot as a full coverage pink petal cream. This one they say is an intensity four. This one is pretty sheer for me uh, so I'm, I'm excited to kind of show you what this one looks like swatched. Okay, next up we have Brenna and I actually don't have any release information on Brenna which probably means that it was in kind of their original core line and it's just never been re-promoted. This one is super soft and in the bottle looks very very close to Dot. It's described by Zoya as a very light milky soft baby pink cream with a subtle hint of peach. And this one they say is a French or a nude and honestly the reason that I'm bringing it into this comparison is because of how close it looks to Dot in the bottle. So I want to show the kind of difference in formula given that these look so close if you saw them on the shelf you might think that they were the same. All right, and this is Agnes. Agnes is a new friend of ours. She was released in the 2019 spring collection, which was the Innocence collection. And this one is described as a warm toned muted blush in a full coverage cream formula. This one again, they say is uh, intensity four. So it's gonna be a little bit more juicy, a little bit less kind of intensely opaque. Okay, and up next we have Avril. This one is a classic. This one, the only release information I have for it was that it was part of the Suede collection, um, but I don't know when that was. And so this again could be one that's been in their line for a long time. It was re-promoted in the Bridal Bliss collection. So I think it's gained some popularity pretty recently. And Zoya describes this one as a soft neutral pink with light brown undertones in a milky cream base. This one they say is intensity three. So it is a little bit more on the sheer side, but I don't have any problems with the form on this one. All right, next up we have Portia, and a lot of these um, were part of the original line. So I have that this one is part of the Spa Essentials collection, but I don't have release information for that. Again, it could just mean that this one has been around for a long time. Zoe describes this one as a soft, milky, pale rose with cool lavender undertones in a smooth cream finish. They say that it's a different choice for a charming, delicate nude look. All right, and finally we have Joey. This one was released in the Barefoot collection, which was the summer 2019 collection. So this one is also a very new friend. This one has a much more opaque formula than Dot does. And it's described as a lovely, warm, light pink cream, which feels accurate, I guess. <laughs> um, that's what it is. And Zoya says this one is intensity four. All right, here we go. These are arranged now from kind of lightest down to most pigmented, kind of. I would say that these ones get a little bit like red, almost kind of mauve-y in here, and then these ones are a little bit more kind of purple brown. Uh, and out here we have these two that are super, super pale light pink. Uh, so I see definitely clear differences here. I feel like the closest ones are Dot and Brenna. And for me, the biggest difference there is formula. The color is very similar, but you can see when I get them off the paper that Dot is a lot more uh, opaque than Brenna is. And so I will be live swatching these ones just so you can kind of see how those build up and what the different formulas look like when you swatch them. All right, and then these four are obviously different. Uh, they look similar, like I would say Portia and Avril are kind of similar, but Portia is much lighter. It doesn't have quite as much brown in it as Avril does. You know, if you have Avril, do you need Portia? I don't know, that's a decision that you need to make for yourself, but I feel like you can see the difference here. I don't need to swatch them for you to see it. Uh, they're definitely not the same polish and they're definitely similar, although Joey is a standout here. It's much more kind of straight up pink than the other three. 
All right, so now I wanna show you some other polishes from Zoya's collection, just so you can see kind of how these ones fit in. When I do lighter polishes like this, I always like to bring in a white, just to show how much color is actually in these polishes. They look so light, especially Dot, but it's so pigmented compared to Snow White, uh, which I think is really cool to see. Uh, this is Snow White, it's kind of a classic white from Zoya, and I feel like yeah, I just feel like that's really helpful. And then I kind of referenced these ones down here as being a little bit more purple leaning. I did do a lighter kind of more neutral purple comparison, so I'll link that up above. But here are a couple of them if you just want to see how they fit in here. Here's Heather and Kendall. They're obviously much more purple than either Agnes or Portia. All of a sudden, I feel like I bring these in here and these now look so much more red toned. These are definitely cooler toned. These three are much, you know, warmer and more pinker. Uh, and these ones are nice and cool and purple. A couple other kind of classic neutrally pinks from Zoya, this is Rue and Joss. And I just want to show how these ones compare. Rue is much deeper than some of these, even though, you know, it might on the surface kind of look very similar. It's much, much deeper. It has a lot more kind of brown undertone in it than any of these. And Joss is a really pretty kind of neutrally pink color from Zoya. This is a recent one, so I wanted to bring it in, but it again is much more pigmented than any of these. It's much deeper. It has a lot more kind of an oomph. Uh, than any of these do. These are much softer. All right, and then finally I just wanted to show you a couple other pinks to kind of show how actually not super pink these are. When I show you the white one, I want you to see how pink they are, but when I show you these ones, I want you to see how super neutral these are. So this is Jordan and Sweet, and these are just some kind of nice classic pinks. One's a little bit more cool toned, one's a little bit warmer, so I thought these were good examples, and you can just see how neutral and washed out all of these look. Even Joey that looked so pink compared to these other ones uh, is really nice and neutral and soft um, compared to Jordan and Sweet. All right, friends, so I'm gonna show you Dot and Brenna compared right here. This is the first coat of Brenna, and you can see that it's going on pretty milky, just like Zoya said. Uh, it's very sheer, very light, and you're getting you know, a little hint of pink here, but it looks pretty milky. Um, and then Dot is gonna go on here, and you can already see that there's a little bit more pink buildup in this first coat of Dot. It also is a little bit sheer, um, a little bit streaky on this first coat. I think Dot's formula kind of precedes it. Um, it's not known for having a great formula, but it is a really pretty color. The second coat of Brenna is gonna give us a little bit more opacity and a little bit more of that color buildup. I think I do see a little bit more pink here, you know, as it gets a little bit deeper and denser. Um, Brenna and Dot both, we're gonna do a third coat of just to kind of see how they build up. Dot on a second coat is already much more opaque than Brenna here, and you're seeing a lot more of that pink. So I think they look very similar, um, but Dot just has a little bit more white in its base. It's a little bit, you know, a little bit deeper. Okay, and so now we're coming in for our third coat of Brenna and it is definitely getting opaque. I feel like three coats is nice for this one. You get a little bit of visible nail line, but it's pretty opaque, um, and you can see that pink. So it's a very nice, light, soft pink, but Dot on a third coat is gonna just smooth all the way out for us, and you can see kind of how much more uh, dense <laughs> that base is, I guess is the right word. Um, and so here you're looking at three coats of each. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know down below which of these lovely polishes is your favorite. I would love to hear from you. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.